how you doing today? I'm Dan McGee. Welcome to my garage. Um, it's uh, fall in the Chicago area and the temperature is fluctuating now between probably in the uh, high 30s to could be in the high 70s in a day. Um, but anyways, uh, it's time to close the pull up. So I decided to uh, do a little something different this year. Instead of um, like I did last year, I just put a, a, a tarp over it and then I put a, a structure over it because I'm um, trying to keep the leaves from gathering. I know you know how a lot of people they'll just take the big balloon and then they'll throw it in the uh, center of the pool and then they take their cover and then come springtime it's rained, it snowed, a bunch of leaves got in there and then it gets all gooey. So what I'm doing this year is I actually um, built like a sort of like a greenhouse over the pool and it's been working pretty cool actually. Uh, the temperature uh, has never, even though it's been dropping down into the 30s, the temperature's never dropped below 60. The water temperature today is around 62 and the temperature inside there is around 65. Now it's a cloudy day today and I think the highs are going to be in the uh, high 50s. But on a sunny day, it'll... Um, the water temperature will go without any heater on. The water temperature will go up to about 65, 70, and the um, the actual room temperature will get up to 75 to 80, even though it's like 65 out. So it's been working pretty cool. So if you um, want, I'll give you a quick tour of it and show you what I did. So I'm gonna have a little tea and then I'll meet you out in the yard and then I'll show you um, how I did so see you in a bit so we're out in the yard now and we're looking at the back of it and the pump and the heater and everything is still hooked up now because it's not been uh, cold enough to where I have to worry about freezing so the exterior of it is actually a big tarp that has it's reinforced with um, some strings ropes and <clears throat> I utilized uh, this the rails and the post of the pool and I actually just put a roof of 2 by 4s and uh, 2 by 12 uh, supports that's supporting the whole thing so now we're going inside and it's dropped into the 30s, low 30s, well not low 30s, mid 30s, and my plants are still good. And the inside is uh, 2x4s and 2x12s. So what we're doing now is looking at the interior of it. And keep in mind it's, um, it's towards the end of uh, October in Chicago. And it's like 62 in there today. And the water, or 65, the water is around 62. So that's basically it, but that's going to save me a lot of headache next year because there's no way that leaves can gather on it. So, all right, I'll meet you back inside. Hey, welcome back. We're back inside the garage, obviously. You could tell by the interior of the garage. We're not out in the yard anymore. Um, I hope you liked it. It was, uh, it really only cost it probably cost me with the tarp and everything and the extra two by fours I had to buy this year maybe an extra 250 bucks but a good pull cover will cost you a couple hundred dollars anyway so um, and I'll be able to use it year after year and next spring now I'll be able to open the pull up a lot earlier than a lot of people because uh, the inside and the water temperature is going to be a lot warmer than normal because of uh, the greenhouse type cover. So um, I hope you enjoyed what I did. If you have any questions, um, you could um, ask me on the uh, link below or you can, uh, if I'm on Facebook, you can just uh, leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you. So 
um, um, have a good day, and that'll be it for um, uh, this episode of Dan's Garage. So, thanks for uh, watching. Mm -hmm.